What's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy Jerry Scott and we back with another video, man. It's 4.30 a.m. Doing something a little bit different today. Today we're doing uh, a couple things. Uh, more so of a day of the life vlog, so it's gonna be filmed a little bit differently. Uh, like I said, man, 4.30 a.m. We're getting a 5 a.m. workout in the day with Camp Gladiator. Got some surprises coming up later on this month, uh, next month. Competing for some, um, some prize money for uh, a special event that's coming up. But yeah, man, so I gotta get in shape. This week's endurance week, so we get in shape, man. It's my first time really getting back into it. I, I went back a couple weeks ago to this, but it's been a while since I've been here. So I gotta get back in shape, because I wanna do that event. Stay tuned for that, subscribe to the channel, like the video, it's gonna be a banger, man. Appreciate y'all for watching. All right, so basically how this is gonna work, gonna be doing some exercises, might do some running, so this is probably the best part with the camera. That way you can see what it is that I'm doing. Uh, I'm not trying to have the camera or anybody else. I don't know who's comfortable being filmed. So, uh, we're gonna make this work. Appreciate y'all for sticking through. It's gonna be a little tough, but uh, we're starting in two minutes. So, stay tuned. Gonna start with a warm up, and then we're gonna get into the exercise. And it's an hour long. I'm gonna keep the camera rolling as long as possible. I might break it up. We'll see. Thank <laughs> you. 
doing that, we got a lap, and then we got 25 of each of these workouts. I'll put them on the screen. Not too difficult. Every time, every round, we'll decrease five reps. Not even gonna flex, that one is kinda long. Compounding on top of each other, so it's making the whole body tired. So now I'm right here. So I'm not, I don't want to round. I don't want to. So this round I'm gonna do 40 bicycles to make it forward. I got those bicycles, I gotta do double since I didn't do them last time. Just focusing my full mouth. I'm pushing through. Or you can do it the other way. So y'all do the same thing. Down, two, three. Other one, three, quick. Almost to the finish line. I'm not gonna count, y'all, man. This other workout I got later on today, I don't know if it's gonna get done. I'm trying to do a two day. Who I think I am? Let me finish this workout.
Yo. It's killing. I got press. I had to do the easy count on one just because it's killing me. I got press. And then I'm gonna try to get these boxes in. I really need to get my abs right. Let's go have two and a half minutes. One, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three,
on these toe touches, toe reaches. Should I use both weights? I push myself to use both weights. Okay, y'all, so we just finished the workout. This is Jen, this is the trainer. I appreciate her for allowing me to film. I do you have anything you want to say? No, I, he kills it. If you guys want to come out and join us, we'd love to have you. We have four weeks free, so you can come hit us up. Uh, Jairus can give you a link, but great job today. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. Hey, link will be in the description for it. Tough workout today, but she allowed me to film. Like I told her before, I'm signing up for the CG Games. Signing up for the CG Games. I'm trying to win some money. We get paid, so. Hey man, coming from being a D1 athlete to coming to this Camp Gladiator stuff, it's kind of tough being so far removed. I feel like if I was currently playing football, it wouldn't be as bad, but trying to get back in the swing of things since I'm starting up this fitness stuff, it's a little, it's a little tough. But yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's mostly mental. I never really have to get to the point where I'm like fighting like I was in college, like to the death or whatever. But it's tough. Uh, Samantha, she's the one who told me about it about Camp Gladiator. So that's what I'm doing, I'm on promo right now. But yeah, like I said, I'm signing up for the Camp the, the Gladiator, the Camp Gladiator games. So it'll be fun, I gotta do it on Friday. Yeah, I'm trying to win some money, man. So, like I said, man, if y'all wanna sign up, they not paying me for this. I guess I'm doing a free promo. They can get the link in the description. So, if you guys wanna do this, do something with your parents. Get some, get some team bonding in with your parents, with your friends, whatever. You can be whatever age, man, come out here. Link will be in the description. Sign up. So I think she's gonna send me a code or something. Or a link. So yeah, man. Like I said, man, we getting this work in. Subscribe to the channel, man. I'm out here grinding. I gotta get back in shape because I'm doing this fitness stuff. And I gotta be able to set an example for y'all. Like I said, hey, this hey, I got my LLC. Uh, I just gotta um, do a couple more things. The Shopify store is going. It's coming soon. I gotta finish that ebook for y'all. So that's coming also. Hey, I got a couple good designs for the merch, for the clothes, for the sports apparel. So stay tuned for that. It's gonna be, hey, it's gonna be fine, man. Y'all already seen some of the pictures on my Instagram. Go down, link in the description, follow my Instagram. It's gonna be on the screen, Field Tiger Fit. I'm trying to get the, the OG Field Tiger uh, handle, but um, the person who has it isn't responding, so it's tough to get that. But like I said, I'm trying to stretch this video out to 30 minutes. So that's what I'm talking about. So like I said, man, also Patreon coming soon. I'm gonna try to film some Patreon videos this week so I can get that launch. 
So if you want to get some exclusive content, if you want to get some one-on-one -on -one personal training, a little bit more exclusive, a little bit more personal, um, I can do a little bit more specific workouts for you guys. Hey, it'll be on the Patreon. So stay tuned for that. I'll make an announcement on my Instagram. Follow me on Instagram, underscore Jared Scott. Stay updated to that merch and the ebook. So yeah, stay tuned. All right, y'all, man. So it's later in the day. Um, doing another workout. Uh, not even really a workout. Just more of a, uh, a skill improvement thing. Um, one thing I like to do every day is just work on something that helps me out uh, in the future. Whether it be something business related, I'm starting these businesses. Um, something sports related, getting in shape. I had that workout a couple hours ago that you guys already saw. So today we just gonna uh, we're gonna get my fingertips right, get my hands right, so I can improve my catching. Uh, so that's really what this workout is, low intensity workout, just how to basically improve your hands, how to catch better, uh, getting a feel for the ball. So we're going to be doing some um, some hand working drills just to help you um, get a better feel for the ball and what the ball feels like. That way you can catch it better, um, that way you have better contact with the ball with your hands, that way you know how the, your hands react to the ball and how the ball reacts to your hands. That way you can ultimately catch better. So. That's what we're doing today. We're going to be doing a couple drills, a couple fingertip drills, a couple hand drills, just to get your hands um, acquainted with the ball, because that's ultimately what it takes to be able to catch the ball. Hey, so for the first drill, first drill, we're just going to be doing the grip, just the grip test drill, just catching, dropping the ball, getting a feel for the ball, strengthening those fingertips, strengthening that front area of the finger, um, just working on that flexibility and that, and that movement. Getting an idea about what the ball actually feels like in your hand. Making sure you're keeping your eyes on the ball also. There's a lot of people, like I said in those previous how to catch videos, they don't keep their eyes on the ball. They try to catch and immediately look away to turn up field, look to make a move, look for the end zone. But today, we're really working on Getting our hands right, man, because that's ultimately going to allow us to catch the ball better. Um, catching different parts of the ball, catching the end. See, it just slipped off. My grip wasn't strong enough. Try to catch the tip. Try to catch the meteor part of the ball. Uh, just getting the, getting that fingertip exercise. Stuff like that. So you can do that for a few minutes. Switch up to a next drill. I'm going to show you what that next drill is. Another simple drill. Uh, You've probably seen it in basketball, but it works for football also. And it's just the, the uh, ball movement drill to the side. That just allows you to, like I said, figure out how the ball bounces on your fingers. A lot of people, when they try to catch the ball, people who have problems with dropping, when they try to catch the ball, it bounces off their hands because their hands are too stiff. So this really teaches you, um, so this really just teaches you how to uh, mold your hands to the ball, how to have soft hands, but keeping them strong all at the same time. Uh, just working on keeping your hands reacting to the ball. So that's really all this drill is. Small touches, all the way up to big touches. Small touches. So like I said, we're just using our fingertips here so we can cradle the ball, keeping those soft fingertips with strong hands. All the way up to big touches, a little bit more powerful touches, something like that. The next one, super simple one, just flipping the ball. This is easy stuff you can do by yourself. All you need is a football. Sit out, just flip the ball on one hand. A lot of people are stronger on one hand, I'm stronger with my right hand. So I like to make sure I do stuff with my left hand. Make sure you're keeping your eyes on the ball. So this is basically a day in life. Some, like sometimes I'll do that early morning workout and I'll find something else to do out the day. And obviously I work at night, so I won't be filming anything later on. Um, but yeah, this is mainly what it consists of. Doing a workout in the morning, if possible, if I feel like it. And working on something related to entrepreneurship or just bettering my craft in some way, one way or another. Like I said, man, I'm coming out with a book an ebook to how to help you guys maximize your ability to get recruited. So stay tuned for that. Uh, dropping some sports apparel. 
and some workout programs, on-field workout programs like cones and ladders, progression stuff to really help you guys uh, just get more athletic, get more nimble, more agile. That stuff's going to be really good. So I'm working on that. Uh, I haven't really wor written workout programs before, so it's a little tough. So I'm just trying to figure out the kinks of that. Um, once I finish this book, I can really go head first into that. It should be good, bro. So stay tuned. Hey, and why, keep an eye out for the Patreon for the exclusive content, like I was telling you before. Oh. So yeah, man, just some simple ball drills, nothing crazy, nothing too crazy, man. Not every workout has to get you tired. Not every workout. A lot of workouts need to be mental. You need to exercise that mental capacity, that mental fortitude, like I tell you guys. You need to be mentally tough, because football can be taxing. And sometimes you have to rely on your mental strength when your physical strength gives out on you. Your mind does exactly what your uh, your body does exactly. <laughs> I messed that up. Your body does exactly what your mind tells it to. So if you build that mental strength, your body will follow suit. That's really all it is, man. Like I'm saying, touching different parts of the ball. Go to that fingertip drill. And you can even follow along to this if you got a football with you, man. You do a 20, 30 seconds each, going to flips, making sure you're keeping your eyes on that ball. That way you're also training your your uh, eye discipline. Because eye discipline is very important at receiver, at these skill positions that require a ball, DB. You gotta learn how to catch if you're playing DB. It's not all about covering and tackling. You gotta be able to catch a big six. You gotta be able to catch an interception, man. So yeah, working on that. You also do a single-handed for the drop, so single-handed. Woo! That's why we're working, man. I'm dropping the ball because I haven't worked these drills in a while. So that obviously means you need to keep doing them. But yeah, man. It's just as long as y'all doing something every day to better your craft, whatever it is. You'll be good, man. You can take a day off the physical aspect, but if you're training your mind, if you're working on your craft, some low intensity workout, it'll all help. It'll all come together. Like I said, man, keep your eyes on it. You can't catch what you can't see. So I'm making sure. Keep your eyes on. Look at my dog. She out here chilling. It's a day in the life, man. Love a dog here. Focus, 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 focus. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, she, she be having fun. She looking to be outside. Yeah, man. We got here working, man. So yeah, man, that's basically what I do during the day. Try to get a workout in the morning if I can. Maybe go ride a bike in my sauna suit. Cause I have been incorporating that sauna suit, man. That sauna suit works wonders. I done cut some weight. So we're gonna be a little bit more agile, a little bit lighter on the feet. Um, do a workout in the morning. Um, try to get some work done on the computer where this right in my book, working on my business stuff. Uh, something like that, posting Instagram pictures. And trying to perfect my craft one way or another. Whether it be actually doing a cone a lot of workout, running some routes, or just doing some hand drills to get my hands better. Cause you can always improve on something, man. I wanna learn how to spin a football on my finger. That's one thing I'm gonna start practicing doing. If you wanna learn how to do something, practice. That's all it really takes, man. So yeah. I think that's gonna do it for the video. I appreciate y'all for watching this little day in life. Um, probably have to click this a little bit. So I'm, I'm gonna take a, an interesting thumbnail and see what my thumbnail editor can whip up for me. But I appreciate y'all for watching, man. Subscribe to the channel, like the video. Drop some comments and some stuff y'all wanna see, what you guys need help with. Um, like I'm saying, man, I'm here to help the Patreon to be a little more exclusive. That way you guys can get some 
more one-on-one -on -one detailed coaching, uh, whether it be route specific, uh, drill specific stuff, and what these things actually help with. Um, or if you just need some advice for academics, stuff like that. Um, yeah, bro, we, we here for you. I'm, I'm out here working, so appreciate y'all watching. Y'all like the video. I'll see y'all next one. Peace.